If you have an external drive with all of your important files on it, and it's not showing up on your PC or laptop, then you might be getting a little bit nervous. Eager to find out exactly what caused this problem and getting it fixed is probably why you're here. So let me walk you through the steps on getting your drive to work again. Let's get started. Hello everyone, my name's Mike, and here at Sabrum, we'd love to make and talk tech. So if that's what you're into, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. First, we'll look to see if there are any physical problems, such as a faulty power supply or cable. If your external drive comes with a power supply, then you need to check that first. Try to test it with another device and also make sure that the wall outlet that you're plugging this into is working too. You can actually be surprised at how many times this can happen. Also, be sure to inspect your cable too. Make sure that there's no damage to the connectors and make sure that the cable isn't broken. If you're not sure, you can try to use this cable with another drive or device and see if it works. After you've gone through the first initial inspection of the drive and the cables plugged into it. You want to examine your computer or laptop to make sure that your USB ports are working properly. First, make sure that USB ports are clean and free from dust. Use a flashlight or torch from your phone to clearly see inside it and blow out any dust that might be in that port. If your computer or laptop has different USB ports, then you can try to use one of those to see if the one that you're plugging into is broken. If you are using an attachment like a hub or a dock, that allows for extra ports, then try plugging your external drive directly to your computer instead of that attachment, bypassing it completely. This way you are removing any possible issues between the computer and your drive. After doing all of those physical checks and replacing any power supplies or cables that you might need to replace, hopefully it's working again. But if it's not showing up, then it's time to look at software solutions. Firstly, there may be a problem with the drivers on your computer and they may need updating. In the Cortana search box, type in device manager and select the first option. Inside the device manager window, find the universal serial bus controllers and locate your USB drive. It should be called something like USB mass storage device. If it's not showing up there, then you may need to update the drivers on your USB ports. Right click on USB root hub and click update driver. Now click on search automatically for drivers and see if there are any new drivers and then they will just download and install the needed drivers for your USB ports. If you are having issues with your drive, then you may want to check the drive letter for your portable drive. Follow these steps to get this done. Open disk management by right clicking the windows icon in the bottom left corner and clicking on disk management. Once the window opens, you want to find your removable drive and right click the partition of that drive. You should be able to choose change drive letter and parts. Your drive letter should show up with the option to change it. Click on change and then select a new drive letter from the drop down menu. Now click OK and then reboot your computer and check to see if the changes took place. If you have a new external drive and you can't read it, then it might just need a format. Disk management might have shown your portable drive being filled with unallocated space. Well, all that you need to do is just format it so that your computer can read that drive. Be aware though that if it's not a new drive, then this will delete all of the files on your drive. Open disk management as I've shown you before and find your drive in the bottom of the window. Right click on your drive's unallocated partition and choose new simple volume from the menu. Click next and then next again. Now choose the drive letter and click next. Enter the label for your drive. And if your drive is only being used for Windows systems, then choose the NTFS file system. Otherwise select FAT32 and press next and then finish. I would actually recommend formatting again after if you have choose the FAT32 format and format it to XFAT file system as it's a little bit newer and will be a little bit more suitable for modern systems. If your drive shows up in disk management but you can't access the data, use the format option or assign a new drive letter, then it could be a logical problem. But don't worry though, because you can use disk part utility in the command prompt to clean the drive and get you started again. In the Cortana search bar, type CMD and right click the top result and then select run as administrator. In the new window, you want to type disk part to launch the disk part utility in the command prompt and press 
enter. Now type list disk to list the available disks on your system and then press enter. Next, type select disk one and press enter to select the drive that's not showing up. Remember to make sure to select the correct disk drive. If you've got multiple drives, then it could be zero, one, two, three, four that may not be showing up. So just make sure that you pick the right one as this will erase all of the data on it and you're not gonna be able to get it back. Now type clean and press enter. Be aware that the clean command will erase everything at this point and the drive will appear blank with the label unknown or not initialized. You will need to use the previous methods that I've spoken about to set it up correctly. And there you have it. There's a few tips on how to get your drive showing up on your Windows system if you can't find it. It can be frustrating when things like this happen, but by choosing the right steps for your situation, you can be up and running in no time. Anyway, I really hope that you found this video helpful. And if you did, then make sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.